Hello everyone, what's up? How are you doing? I hope you're doing very well. In this video, what we are simply going to do is to create this beautiful design you see on your screen and everything is going to be done from scratch just in case you're looking for an interesting way you can share some quotes on Instagram or any social media platform. This is the kind of design you can create. So without any further ado, let's roll the intro and let's get started. So here we have a blank canvas and we are using the dimension 1080 by 1850. What we'll first of all do is to start with the background. Okay, so we'll come to background color and you can actually choose any background of your choice. But if you want to go with what I am going with, the color code is 341F0C. Yeah, that's the color code we are simply going to use. Now, to build up on the background, what we'll do is to come to element and we'll simply search for pattern. Okay, so pattern, and there are so many patterns we have over here, but to be specific, we'll just search for African pattern. You see, it would find something nice in Canva. You can see we have this particular design in Canva. So we'll just increase the size to make it occupy the background. Okay, now after we do this, the next thing we want to do is to change the color of this to white or any bright color you know so something like this you know white was it's cool but we can also just come here use the color picker in the background color and make it just a bit brighter you know so something like this it's fine the color code we are using for this is 412308 all right because we just want to create a little bit of um contrast in the background and i hope you are enjoying the way I'm saying contrast because sometimes you got to stare. <laughs> anyway, so the next thing we'll do is to come back to element and just search for African queen. Okay, so African queen and we'll simply come into photos and there should be a lot of photos we can choose from. Oh my God, just come to African queen. There are so many photos in there. This is a photo I'm using. It's actually a free photo. So it means even if you're on the free version of Canva, you should be able to use this photo. Okay, but the only thing is the next step after this is we're going to use a pro feature in canva but you can use remove the bg if you have the you know the option to do that okay actually you should have the option to use remove the bg because it's a free background remover you know online and that's the pro version that gets to be used inside of canva so you can maybe download the image you go to remove the bg remove the background, bring the image back to Canva. I know it's a long process, but just for the sake of this tutorial, please do it. Okay. Yeah. So we'll just continue. I'll remove the background of my image and you can see how things are looking. And what I will simply do over here is to increase the size. Okay. we we'll just increase the size like this. And I want the focus to be on the lady's face. So we'll just keep cropping and would we'll increase the size more. Something like this seems to be amazing. Okay, so this is what we have. I want the head to go up a little bit. So we just increase it more exactly. So this is what we have at the moment. Now, what we have to do next is to add the shining um, head. I'll just say like the shining star effect or the shining star sun effect over here. So to do that, we'll first support this press L on our keyboard for a line, just bring it here. And if you don't have L on your keyboard, it's very simple. Just come into element, okay, and just search for shapes. And the shapes, there should be a line over there. So that's the case because some of you, maybe your keyboard L is missing. <laughs> okay, so come here, just increase the size and would also increase, um, just turn on the rounded end points, okay? We'll reduce the size a little bit, come into transparency, also reduce the transparency to something like this. All right, then we would just keep the first one to 90 degrees. I think we can make it thicker. Okay, that's what we have. We'll place it here, duplicate it, you know, just move it to the side, and you just rotate it slightly, duplicate it again, rotate it slightly, bring it closer okay and duplicate it again you know just keep doing that for it and duplicate it again something like this duplicate it again something like this you know duplicate it again something like that 
Okay, it should be here. Okay, then we'll bring this closer. Bring this, you know, closer. Then we'll bring this here and we'll put this something like this. So you should just be doing the same, you know, or something similar to what I am doing. And then you know, it's just a matter of duplicating and rotating these things slightly. Okay, and we we'll just rotate. Now we'll just put this also over here, then duplicate it again using Ctrl D. So I'm actually using Ctrl D to duplicate. Okay, and we keep it here like this and also place it over here. So this is what we have at the moment. And what we can do to create some variations to it is that with some of them, you can just make it shorter, you know, just shorter. Some can go longer and all that just to make it look dynamic and interesting. Okay, so something like this can be fine. We'll bring this in here a little bit. And we can also reduce the size. And um, this can be deleted because no one's actually going to see. Now, let's select everything over here. One of the options to select everything is to press and hold shift on your keyboard and select all the lines. Okay, so that's what you can first of all do. Okay, just press and select everything. Okay, then you can right click, come to layer and send backward. So they all go behind the lady. Now the other way to do it is you can just select maybe one of them, right click, come to show layer. Okay, show layers actually. You should see all of them. So what you can simply do is just to select everything over here and you just have to move it behind the lady's photo okay so that's what you can do over here okay this one i would increase the length a little bit just to have something like this and i think what we've created is actually beautiful okay now i want us to add some text so simply press t on your keyboard for a text move it to the top select everything and reduce it smaller okay and what i'm simply going to say is the queen Okay, the queen of, so you can put Africa and because you use the word queen, that's why this is, you know, this effect came up. We'll just select everything here and you can either use Africa or any country you want to use. If it's the queen of Jamaica, you, know, you can just use the country you want to use, but I'm going to use Africa. Okay, then we'll just make it all caps by coming over here and choosing the upper case. All right. And would we'll increase the size and just arrange everything beautifully. Okay. But this is what we have at the moment. Now, to spice things up a little bit, there are some few things we will do. It will come into element and I would go into my recently used. Okay. Just so I can find the type of element I use. Uh -huh. So you can look for decorative thin tine line stroke. Okay, so you can use that. Just select it and we'll change the color to match the lady's outfit. Okay, so that you know our color combinations can be accurate. So Canva should, you know, first of all, generate some colors for us, but let's come into add new color. Use the color picker. We'll just come anywhere on the golden aspect, okay, or the golden areas, and we'll just pick a color over there. We can duplicate this. And just position it here or anywhere you want to, you know. At this point, your freedom should, you know, you have the freedom to do anything you want. Then you can search for the African continent. Okay, so I'll just add this and I just want to put this over here and change the color, the same color we are using for all the lines over here. Now, after we've done that, the other thing we want to do is to add some extra text. So I'll press again on my keyboard and I can just say truly African okay then we will change this typeface or this font to the lux script okay la lux script that's what we are going to use uh je parle français uh I'm pay I'm pay anyway so truly African and we can just keep this somewhere here just to make it look like or oh, someone just wrote on their design, something simple like that. 
Then we'll add this one as well. This one is called the marker circle vector. You can search for that in element to find it. Okay. Then we'll just keep it simple. Place it here. Change the color to the same line colors. Okay. And we'll just increase this a little bit and move it to the top. Okay. Now let's add some sec rectangles. So press R on the keyboard for rectangle. And you can just reduce the size, just something like this, okay? And you can put it in here, okay? And to make it look interesting, I would want us to add some corner roundings. So add some corner roundings, come to transparency, and reduce the transparency to something like this. Now let's change the color and make it brown, okay? You can make it a lighter brown. The color code I am using is 86614C. Eight, oh, you can see it. Okay, 86614C, that's the color code. All oh, right. Then over here, I want us to add some quotes, African quotes. So I'm just going to pull in my browser over here. Okay. And what we can simply say is African proverb for women. Okay, so a woman is never told when it comes to that she knows or oh, oh, blah blah blah. Okay, let's come to a meaning of you know about women experience, something like that. And all we need is just the proverb. We don't need the explanation. A woman's stomach does not grow if she is not pregnant. A woman cannot claim to be okay. Um, I think a woman is like a tree, treat her well. I think this is very beautiful. You know, I like this because. It's true, we have to, as men, we have to treat women well. Okay, so that's what I'm also trying to promote over here. So we we'll put it here and we'll just add our text. And I think the text is too big, so we'll reduce the size just a little bit. Okay, now we can see that it's actually going to be difficult to read our text if it's like this. So to be able to create some contrast, this is what we are going to do. First of all, press R on the keyboard, okay? Set the color to the same color as your background and place the shape over here. Okay. Then increase the size, move it to the top. And we are going to transform this shape into a gradient. To do that, come into color. Okay. Come into color again. Come to add a color. Okay. Having the same color selected, we are not going to change the color. Just come to gradient. Okay. Now, when you come to gradient, set the second color to the same color as the first one. So that when we make the second one transparent, it's the same color. So there wouldn't be any you know, spot of different colors in there. So that's what we have. Then we'll just move the transparency slider all the way to zero. And that's what we have. Then make sure you're setting it to linear gradient. Okay, linear gradient. Once you do that, this is what you have. And instead of coming here to move this round, or no, 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 we've gone past that. Come to position, come to arrange. I know it's a lot, but it's, it makes things easy. And this is what we have at the moment. Now, right click, come to layer, come to show layers. Okay. And we'll just place this in front of the lady. And you can see our text is now standing out. Now, the last few things I want us to do is add some extra stuff in here. Okay, and would also maybe add, you know, do some touches to our photo to make it pop in our design. So just come into element and search for rip paper. Okay, so we have this here. We'll just place it um, over here. You can just put two or three of them depending on what you want. Okay, now move it here. Now just increase my image a little bit. Okay, and yeah, I think this should be fine. For the second paper over here, you can now change the color. So you can change colors. That's nice. And I'm going to duplicate this text, bring it here. The first word we can use is pride. Okay. And just fix it in here. The second one we can use is beauty. Okay. So you just say beauty. You can use any word of your choice. So don't stick to what I am saying over here, okay? 
Then the third one you can choose is unique. Okay, unique. So this is what we have at the moment. And I think this is very beautiful. But before we go, let's add just let's do some small editing to the lady. Okay, just to make her pop. So select the lady, come to edit, and it's just something simple. Increase the brightness a little bit. Okay. Then the contrast will make it more, making the 28. What I have is 28. Now we also increase the vibrance and the saturation just a little bit, like 14. And this is what we have at the moment. It's looking blurry for now, but after it's loaded, everything should become sharp. Okay, so that you can see now we have everything sharp at the moment. And yes, this is what we have at the moment. I hope you enjoy this quick tutorial. I think it's now this tutorial should be less than like 10 seconds <laughs> but this is what we have at the moment i hope you enjoyed it just in case you are looking for canva templates or looking for canva pro the links have been dropped in the description box below the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video peace